this week on Archery 101, we're going to do another quick study with arrows. Just curious, straight fletch, helicals. Any difference in speed? We'll find out up next. Hey everybody, welcome to Archery 101. Greg here. All right, somebody asked about it, you know, we can take this to ridiculous levels, but personally, I don't think there's much of a difference. Not from the ranges I shoot, 30 yards max. Right, straight fletch versus helical. There you go. All right, the same arrows, 600 grain, 145 point tips, or sorry, 600 spine, 145 grain tips. They're identical arrows. Take some shots at different ranges. We'll see what we get up with, you know? Guess we'll answer this one way or the other. All right, up first, let's shoot about 10 yards, if not even that, to the chronograph. All right, eight yards. Up first, we'll shoot the straight, then we'll always shoot the helical. I'll try to keep them in that order. One forty three for the straight. Now the helix. One forty seven. Pretty much the same. But that's right off the bat, right? So now let's back it up. By the way, forty two pound bow. Fifteen yards. Duplicate, 147 with a straight, as I got with the helical. This is duplicate one. Shooting a little high though. Looks like 145. 20 yards, can't see the reader. So I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna have to zoom in or something. Should have brought binos, huh? <laughs> Trying to cut it close. Well, you cut it close. All right, twenty five yards. I am dancing with fate, baby. All right, everybody, there you have it. You've seen the numbers. <laughs> yeah. um, interesting note, the drop-offs are very similar to the other test I did. So my max down there was 147, and down here, 137 to 140. 
10 feet per second from 10 yards down to 30 drop. You know, so showing my arrow is a little different. Straight fletched. And try to get in the green. Hang on a second. Drop that down. And helical. So you can see more, more uh, surface area, more drag. But it really didn't make a difference. Actually, at 30 yards, my helical was faster than my straight fletch by three feet per second, 140 to 137. And it's becoming a pattern, hasn't it? The biggest aspect of your archery that impacts your shooting and everything else is your shot cycle. It's us. It's not this stuff. All right, we, we stress to minutia portions on this stuff the average archer does when we should be stressing on us. That's just a personal opinion. All right. From 30 yards out, it doesn't matter if I shoot helical or straights. Now, if we're talking 50, 60 yards, I bet that's when this might come into effect a little bit more, right? But hunting distances, no way. 3D, nothing third in yes? No, not for me. I don't know about for you. So tell me in the comments down below what you got from the numbers, besides that I've got a lot of variances in my shot cycle, right? All right, so there you go. A little bit more information, just something to think about between helical and straight. Is it worth it? I don't know. Do they recover faster? Don't know, but I can tell you about speed this time now. All right, boys and girls, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, not scribe. Scribe's writing, right? Subscribe. And I'll see you next time with an all-new episode of Archery 101.